Hey guys, welcome back to another Clash Royale video, and today we're going to be taking a look at one of the strongest fast cycle decks in the meta right now. Right here is a 2.9 elixir giant minor magic archer cycle deck, guys. Fast cycle giant. You have two small spells in here, no heavy spell, two fast cycle cards, and then obviously the Night Witch, the single strongest card in Clash Royale right now, in my opinion, in this deck as well. According to Real API over here, the deck itself, uh, as of about two days ago, has started to make a huge impact into the meta, kind of catching on both on ladder and in grand challenges. Being used for about 8,000 battles in the game with a solid 54% win rate. The highest player with this deck is around 7,105 trophies, as you can see over here, who is also the seventh highest player in the world right now, guys, with this fast cycle giant deck. Now, with that being said, I would say that this is probably one of the more kind of difficult strategies to use in the current meta. I think most fast cycle decks tend to be high skill caps, especially with no heavy spell in there. Uh, especially no poison. Night Witch is so insanely strong right now that not having a poison in there uh, is going to give you a hard time against, for example, Golem Night Witch beatdown can be a bit of an issue because uh, you have to rely on your Magic Archer to clean the bats up of that, of that Night Witch. Uh, but if they have like Fireball or whatever, uh, it can be a little bit more difficult. Come on, game. I like when I have a card selected, but I don't actually select it. I think I just don't have my iPad screen hard enough sometimes. Oh, look at that, guys. We get three bats to the tower, and in the process, dealing four, 12, 1400 damage to the tower. I had to math there for a bit, and it was hard. So here's the problem. Got Zaspel, which is a bit unfortunate. Where's your Hoggy, sir? I was going to go Bats there, but I knew he had Zap in hand, so I was just like, you know what? Chill. Let's just chill, buddy. Wait for it. He's going to Zap that. Going to get one. Oh, no. That Log went down. He's got Zap and Log. That's going to be a bit difficult, that combination there. That Zap and Log. Because we had to rely on our Bats and our Skeletons to get some damage done. But... Having both Zap and Log gives some pretty good answers for both of our kind of like sneaky cards in our deck. I'm going to go ahead here and Zap this. Night Witch here for this. Thinking about going giant in front of this Night Witch right now. Get some bats spawning out. And he's going to go Prince behind the Kill Night Witch first. And he's going to Zap the bats after the bats are dead. There we go. Go, go, go. Our archers. Monitor do work, please. Thank you. Let's go like this. It'll kill the prince, hopefully. We got some respectable damage down there, right? Right. So some decent damage. You can go Hog Rider into my Night Witch here. We're definitely okay with. Oh man, this deck is disgusting. Lightning spell for everything, plus the. Um, the log and the Zaspels. spells. He's not giving us any breaks today, is he? Alright, let's like this. There we go. Zap that. Trying to get some work done there. Nice, there we go. Hold this back here. Miner here, please. Skeletons here, please. Let's go. Go, Miner, go. So we do thankfully have the damage in the opposite lane here, but uh, it's going to be absolutely, positively, uh, what do we say? In Shane. In the membrane. Like this. One of these. We have to log down first, then go skeletons. Giant here. Mine in the corner here. I'll just back right now. Is that the uh, Infernal Tower? Is the giant more time to get nothing done? That's unfortunate, but it happens. <laughs> it's just, it's hard to defend when you can lightning spell the Night Witch and then zap the bats as well. Right, you know what I'm saying? Wait for it. 
Do this. This. This here. This here. Come on, let's go. Kill that uh, Hog Rider, please. Go giant the pocket here. And this should be GG's, guys. It should be GG's right here. Right here, let's go, let's go, let's go. One giant shot. Magic Archer here. The Prince just once, please. Yes, there we go. That's a difficult battle, dude. These decks, these fast cycle decks are so insane to use, especially on defense. Especially when they have, like, all the answers. Like, trying to defend against anything where you can go lightning spell for this. And then what do you have left over, right? You can just zap those or, or log those. So I definitely felt the pressure in that battle. But we still made it happen. Uh, obviously, it was a little bit more difficult than we would have preferred. But, uh, definitely was fun. These are the kind of battles that I, I enjoy the most in Clash Royale. Are these fast-paced, high-intensity uh, battles. Always going to be a Goblin Barrel Log Bait. The question is, is it Rascals? Oh my goodness, it is. And it's going to be Prince on the right for this, isn't it? Valkyrie, even worse or worse. Okay, he's going to fire all that. Oh my goodness, this just got bad. This just got bad, dude. This just got bad. He's got a wizard in there. Nice, thank you. Thank you, Tower, for finishing off the wizard first. Boys, girls, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be difficult. The wizard is in Shane. Ah, yikes, it's an Infernal Tower deck. Got this. Do work bats. Ooh, arrows. So it is Inferno. It's the it's the worst of both worlds. It's Rascals and Inferno. So it is indeed the worst of both worlds. I'm gonna go minor right here, just get some chip damage done to his tower. Nice. Magic Archer here will kill the goblins first. Answers it with a wizard. We're gonna go Night Witch here. Thank you. And this should be a... Oh, man. A uh, interesting battle. Is what I'll say. It'll be interesting. Nice. Let's go. Do work minor, please. I'm gonna go slow giant push right here. I wish I had a fireball to finish off his, uh, his wizard. I think his wizard's gonna be the biggest issue this battle here. No fireball to destroy it. Just here. Let's go. And ignore that like this. There's that ready for uh, some infernal tower action here. Nice. Wait for it. We don't need it. Magic archer here for the Valkyrie. The tower as well. That knight which is destroying that tower there. Let's get back to uh, log spell here ASAP for his next barrel. We'll need it ASAPage. Oh my goodness, these high intensity battles are not good for my uh, heart pressure, blood pressure, whatever you call it. Good game. Well played. That was fun though. I love those battles. Those are my favorite battles in Clash Royale. Those, those ones that make your heart palpitate. Palpitate, is that even a word? Palpitate. Or is that the, the Chancellor? Is that the Sith, the Sith Lord? Hell, potate. <laughs> oh, it is a word. Beat rapidly. All right, maybe I just said it weirdly. She was palpitating with terror. I, I was, pal I was palpitating with terror. <laughs> I can't even say it now. I'm saying it so much. You ever do that where you say a word too much and then it sounds weird? It's happening right now. Ay ay ay. So we actually did pretty good there. I'm actually pretty happy with that one. Man, these battles—they're so intense. The Here's the thing, guys. I, I showed you guys before. The, de the deck stats, it has a 54% win rate. Obviously, not one of the highest win rates that I've shared on the, on the channel. And the reason is, it's a, it's a harder deck to use. It's a difficult deck to use, as is any, like, fast cycle deck. Because you don't have a whole lot of, like, defensive stopping power in this strategy. Oh, you know, camera two. In the strategy, you don't have a whole lot of defensive stopping power. If that makes sense. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, yeah. So, we have this guy. He's got no... Oh, man. He's got no clan. I feel bad for him. We should give him the free win. He's got no clan. If I give him a win, maybe he'll find some friends. No, I'm just kidding. I was going to say, maybe he'll find some friends, but that was rude, and I didn't want to say that, so I stopped saying it, but then I said it anyways. Yikes, it's the freaking golem. How in the world are we going to win? I don't even know, dude. Legitimately, I think we just die right now. Why does he have the Infernal Dragon in there, man? That's not cool, dude. That's highly uncool, man. Nice. That Infernal Dragon, guys, is highly, highly uncool. Mine are here a bit late because we're, we're too newbie. Where's your natal, bro? Where's your natal, broski? Broski? Yo, my dude. My broski. Where's your natal, broski? Let's just zap right here. I'm actually scared right now. I'm actually scared. Oh, who lives in a pineapple under the sea? All right, so here's the dealio. He's got Electro Dragon too? What? What? Why? What did I do, Clash Royale? What did I do to deserve this Clash Royale? Why me, man? And he's got guards. Well, that's a dead tower on the right, guys. That golem's gonna go to town. Wait for it. Got this. Did I seriously just miss the Infernal Dragon? Am I the biggest noob in Clash Royale history? The answer to both those questions is yes. I indeed am the biggest noob in Clash Royale history. How did I miss both of those things, dude? We're gonna get three crown right meow. Didn't miss it that time, though. Didn't miss it that time. Come on. What does he got for spells? Please don't be lightning spell. Please. Please, I'm begging you right now. I'm begging you right now. Oh, I even know how we won that. Despite missing the most crucial spell of the game. We still won. Despite missing that Zaz spell against the Infernal Dragon. Thankfully, he had Earthquake. If he would have had Poison or Lightning spell in place of the Earthquake, guaranteed 100% loss. In fact, the only reason I think we won that was because he had Earthquake. Right? Like, it didn't really do anything for him in that battle. Uh, so that's the only reason I think we won, was Earthquake. Like, honestly. Like, you saw how hard it was to deal with that battle, that Hog battle, with the Lightning Spell in there. If he had, like, if he had Lightning Spell, that would have been GG's, for sure. Oh, man. These battles are intense. We have our tier unlocked, tier 35. Bada 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 boom. By the way, if you guys do not follow me on DLive, I mentioned this before, I live stream on DLive three times per week, and I do have to finish off my uh, my tier pass royale on my mini account. So I'm probably gonna be live streaming sometime soon on DLive on my mini account, and I'll be playing with viewers in 2v2. So um, if you guys are interested in playing with me, make sure you follow me on DLive. All right, so the pass royale is done right now. Good, good, good. All right, guys, let's go ahead here and jump into one more live battle. I have a bit of a dilemma in today's video. I have two very, very good replays that I want to share with you guys. One of them is against a P.E.K.K.A. Executioner Poison Tornado deck. Uh, which, when you're using Giant Night Witch, like P.E.K.K.A. Poison Tornado and, uh, what do you call it, the Executioner. It was a bit of a not fun battle. So I kind of want to show that one and showcase how kind of how I kind of won it. Why does this guy got executioner, dude? Flash Riel. Flash Riel. Flash Riel. Why? Why? What did I do, man? What did I do, man? 
I'm gonna ignore the execution. He doesn't hit like a Pekka anymore, so. Anyways, what was I saying before? I have two replays. One of them, one of them is against a um, Pekka Poison deck, and the other one's against a Balloon deck. And the reason I want to throw the Balloon deck in here is because uh, obviously he has obviously uh, like we had not too much air defense in this deck. So I kind of wanted to showcase that battle as well. Oh, I'm so triggered right now. Well, I don't need to throw in the replay against Pekka. Because we're facing Pekka right now, dudes. Last Royale. Why? What did I do to deserve this? What did I do to upset you, Clash Royale? What did I do to upset the Clash Royale universe? What did I do to deserve this Clash Royale? I'm sorry. I have obviously upset the Clash Royale powers that may be. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Alright. We get the tower. We don't get the tower. Oh no, dude. That's not nice. We'll minor finish it off here. I'm gonna save my log. Just here. No! Skillet turns your newbies! Skillet turns you newbies! Nice, actually. He has to go Pekka here for the giant, right? Dang it. At least we pull that Pekka away. What? It goes back? What? How is that real life? How is that real life? Why is it going back here? Let's be real, Clash Royale. Let's be real here for a minute. Why did that Pekka go back? Come on now. Ah. No! No, Pekka, please! Pekka, I'm sorry! Pekka, please! No! Don't shoot! Oh, <laughs> uh, get your laughing face out of here, you hard counter me, buddy. <laughs> uh, GG's well played. Oh, man. That was stressful. What did I do to deserve that? Freaking Pekka Poison Executioner Nato, man. Ay, ay, ay. I seriously don't know why that Pekka went back to the right lane. Like, in my head, I was like, oh, we pulled it to the opposite lane there. But then it went back. Let's I want to go back and just watch that one moment there. And then I'll probably just share the Pekka replay where we won. Because I feel bad. Now I gotta, I gotta show that replay where we won. And then that'll be the end of the video. I won't throw in the, the balloon replay. People get mad when I throw in two replays. But, uh... That was a pretty aggressive uh, magic archer there. But... Yeah. I don't know, dude. I don't know. So we get, you know, good damage done there. This is where things start going crazy. No, not not yet, not yet. That tower goes down. We defend this. Like, <clears throat> So here's mistake number one. We could have pulled that giant away, but obviously the skeletons pulled it back. So that's kind of bad. That's kind of bad right there. Right here, I go magic archer right here with the intention of sniping his mega minion and hitting his, his king tower. Okay. So we go magic archer right here. A minor magic archer. Uh, and then we actually pull the P.E.K.K.A. over. You can see over here that the P.E.K.K.A. is visually over the half line mark. Like the halfway through the arena. So he's on the left hand side of the arena. Now he's supposed to go down the left lane. That's just, that's just how things work in Clash Royale. It's supposed to go left lane. It's a weird bug that exists in the game. But it goes back to the right. For some reason. And I know what you're saying that it's because that tower... I know what you guys are saying right now. You're saying, Shane, it's because the tower on the left is dead. The tower on the right is closer. So he goes to the closest tower. I know what you guys are thinking. That's not how it actually works. Because if, if he were to go and use a P.E.K.K.A. Let's say if he would have initially dropped the P.E.K.K.A. on that exact spot right there. 
it would go down the left lane. It wouldn't go down the right lane. It's only when it starts right lane and goes to the left lane, it bugs out and goes back to the right lane. It's not supposed to. Because if he were to if he were to drop a Pekka right there initially, it would go down left lane. It, it doesn't go for the nearest tower. It just goes for like... Like it just goes left lane or right lane, and then when it finds a target within range, then it goes for it, right? So anyways, a, weird, a bit of a weird thing right there. Um, we could have like... Here's the thing. I'll cancel that. We could have... Not had a P.E.K.K.A. on the right lane to, to worry about right now. Like, I could have easily went back to left lane to single-handedly destroy the P.E.K.K.A. and force out a Zaspel. But now we have P.E.K.K.A. on the right lane as well, so... I don't know. Definitely think there's a bit of shenanigans right there. Alright guys, right here is the replay that I was referring to earlier on against a P.E.K.K.A. Executioner NATO Poison deck. Hog Rider as well. So very, very similar uh, stuff. Um... I've definitely noticed... I don't know if I'm just unlucky. Maybe I'm just reading too much into things. But I, I, I feel like when I, as soon as I threw a giant into my deck, I started feeling like facing more P.E.K.K.A.s. And uh, I saw someone tweet the other day that uh, you always face different decks when you switch cards. Like when you switch cards in your deck, you start facing different things. And I don't know if it's necessarily like the, the hard counters. Like I don't really think it's that. I don't really think it's the, the game trying to hard counter you. But I definitely have noticed in the past that like changing decks, you start facing different cards, right? It's not always hard counter, because if it was hard counter, then obviously someone's always getting an easy matchup. But, uh, like, you'll go, like, you'll, you won't face a certain, you know, decks at all for a while. Then you change decks and you face a whole different thing, whole different set of cards, I feel like. I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy, reading too much into it. But we get some good damage done right there with that giant on the right lane. And, uh, now we have to zap here because the Ice Spirit will tank for the Executioner. And he'll get a shot off if I don't Ice Spirit it. So we ended up, uh, zapping the Ice Spirit there. And now we're gonna go Night Witch here with some skeletons to pull the bats away, giving the Night Witch time to destroy that Hog Rider, then go on the counter push right here. And I believe I sneak a miner in front here to tank for the uh, Night Witch. Now watch this. He, ha he has no NATO in hand. He could poison, obviously. But we actually get the Night Witch to the tower there because of that miner tanking. And we get one, two, and a three Night Witch shots, plus a few bat shots as well. Bringing his tower to 114 health. So we actually have a much better start in this battle. But I honestly think him like that 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 live battle we lost. I honestly think uh him having the Dark Prince gave him a pretty good advantage. Uh he nails the giant back here, obviously, to prevent the Pekka from being pulled. Very, very smart play by him. Gonna go um Like what do I even do here, dude? Like, how do you defend a Pekka Hog Raider push? When there's an executioner behind it, man. It's absolutely insane. So Magic Archer here destroys the bats. We go giant in front, which protects the Magic Archer just long enough for the P.E.K.K.A. to go down. And now the executioner is dead. We're going to go Night Witch here to start denying that lane. With only 25 seconds left here, my plan is kind of keep holding on for the defense. Going to apply a bit of pressure left lane to kind of force out, hopefully, a response. He defends it with just an Ice Bird, though, which is um, okay, I guess. Log here. Knocks about the Hog Rider. Tower's at 878 health. We go zap for the bats. And we go bats for the Executioner. And just barely holding on. Executioner hits the tower once. Now at 236 health. And uh, just barely losing that tower. But we do manage to hold on for that one crown victory. So very, very close battle, guys. Very, very close battle. Anyways, guys, that is the end of the video. I think we did pretty well today. Three wins, one loss uh, with this deck. Uh, really, really fun strategy to use in Clash Royale. As I mentioned before, it was being used by the number seven player in the entire world. And as you can see right here, these are the stats of the deck according to Royale API. Uh, 8,000 battles, pretty popular deck. Been uh, doing pretty well since about two days ago, kind of catching on into the meta. The reason the win percentage is lower is it is a harder deck to use. Definitely one of the higher skill cap decks for sure. Um, versus other decks in the meta that are substantially easier, like uh, the one I shared yesterday with the Battle Healer, Night Witch, Elite Barbarian, Rage, Elixir Golem, uh, is a pretty brainless strategy. Uh, this one, definitely the opposite. Definitely have to play your cards perfectly, especially on defense. Uh, and sometimes it's just kind of, it's very unfortunate with uh, with facing those P.E.K.K.A. <laughs> Executioner, NATO, Poison decks. Uh, but anyways, guys... That is the end of the video. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe for more Clash content. Thank you so much for watching. We shall see you in the next one.